Maharashtra colleges to reopen from February 1st, vaccination mandatory. Karnataka Education Department to frame guidelines to uniforms at colleges. CBC Reading Machine, Bo to organize webinars for teachers on Jan 27th. EDMC launches e-library to help primary class students of Delhi school. Tripura starts educational news bulletins on State Run Edu channel. IIM Calcutta launches CFO program for professionals at leadership roles. Good afternoon and warm welcome. You are watching Education News Network where you get to watch the latest developments in education at the top of this hour. This is Balaji reporting from ENN and the Delhi Stories R. Maharashtra colleges will be reopening now from February 1st, 2022 for all the students after being closed for almost a month. The state government has announced on Jan 25th, 2022 that all colleges in Maharashtra would be reopening for offline classes. The announcement has been made around 8 pm in the evening. Maharashtra College's reopening decision has been announced by the State Higher and Technical Education Minister Uday Samman. The minister has even tweeted about it saying that colleges in Maharashtra can resume offline teaching from this mentioned date. The announcement has been made as CM Uddhav Thakri accepted the proposal. Colleges would reopen not for all students but with some restriction in place. Vaccination has been made mandatory for all the students. Only fully vaccinated students will be allowed to come to the campus on the given dates. Days after controversy erupted at a pre-university Karnataka college in Udipi district for banning hijabs inside classroom, the State Education Department Tuesday said it will constitute a committee to formulate guidelines on uniforms at PU colleges across the state. A letter issued by Padmini SN, Under Secretary of the Education Department, Pre University Education, said pleasantly there is no uniform prescribed by the Education Department to follow and it has been left on the colleges. But after this incident in Udupi district, where the students didn't to allow to attend the colleges in the clothes of their choice, the state government has decided to analyze the court orders in the issue and a committee will be formed. The Central Board of Secondary Education has announced webinars for teachers under the CBC Reading Machine 2021 to 2023 campaign. The webinar was announced on Jan 26 and it is scheduled to take place today by Jan 27. It will be a live session which will be webcast at the CBSE's official YouTube channel titled as CBSE Academics and Training. The channel will be beginning the web webcast at 3 pm today. The theme of the webinar will be storytelling as a pedagogy. With the aim of strengthening and promoting digital learning in the schools, East Delhi Municipal Corporation has launched an e-library for both students and teachers. This e-library has been set up as a joint effort of the Civic Body and Tech Mahindra Foundation. The e-library was inaugurated by the EDMC Commissioner Vikas Anand on Monday and is being promoted as a digital storehouse of the learning resources. A team of several in-service teacher education institute, Tech Mahindra Foundation and the EDMC mentor teachers came together during the COVID-19 pandemic in together to the resource of the e-library. Eight months after launching the dedicated educational challenge, Tripura today started the education news streaming on the channel and said the initiative would benefit students, teachers, parents and educationists. The education news bulletins would run for 10 minutes on Tuesdays and Fridays at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. respectively. I am Calcutta has launched the second group of the CFO program and the CFO program is for 9 months which is ideal for evolving and aspiring CFOs holding senior leadership position. The curriculum is designed to help finance professionals to acquire the knowledge and skills to effective CFO and will provide them with more tools to enhance their leadership and decision making capabilities. All enrolled executives on successful of the completion of the program would be eligible for the IIM Calcutta Executive Education Alumni status. The second batch of live online in-class sessions begins on March 27, 2022. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, do log on to our website, denn.com. And do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Signing off, Balaj.